Hi guys, welcome to another Elvistory video. So, I wanted to do a different type of video this time around and uh, it's kind of an experiment and it's something I've wanted to try for a long time. And uh, some of you might be familiar with this uh, type of video, some of you might not be. Um, they're called reaction videos. And uh, I'm eager to do this because I thought it would be maybe, you know, just a nice change of pace from what I normally do. And uh, it would be a nice way to incorporate um, different types of videos into this channel. So, um, with that in mind, uh, this video is going to be a reaction video and what I mean by reaction will be reaction and review so uh, what it is is for some of you that don't know um, what it is is you guys will see the video playing and there'll be a small video of me in the corner and um, I'll be basically reacting to what's going on in the video and uh, you know, every once in a while, I might pause if there's something that, you know, I want to say or, you know, strikes my interest or, you know, anything like that. I, I might pause it a few times just to, uh, you know, say, say some things like that. So, um, so what this video is going to be, this reaction and review, um, the very first one that I do, is going to be... Um, the press conference uh, at Graceland that Elvis did when he got home from the army and I figured this would be um, something good to start with um, like I said if if all goes well I got like maybe so far about 10 or so that I'm thinking about doing and you know uh, if you guys like this if this is something you guys like you know let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll do more of them if this goes well, you know, uh, like I said, I think it's a nice change of pace for uh, the way I do things on this channel, you know. So, all right, uh, um, without any further ado, uh, I will take you guys to the uh, press conference at Graceland with Elvis, and we'll see how it goes from here, and I hope you guys enjoy this, all right? So, I will see you there in a couple of seconds. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is Elvis' press conference in uh, his dad Vernon's office, uh, which was behind Graceland. If uh, none of you have ever been to Graceland, I know some of you have, but behind Graceland is was uh, Vernon had his own office where he took care of all uh, Elvis's business. So this is where um, this press conference took place. So let's get to the press conference. Okay, we're going to start. In this this is not part of the questioning, but uh, did you get the black eyed peas when you got home? I haven't eaten anything yet. Haven't eaten anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've just been looking around more or less since I've been back. Now, uh, to get down to the serious side of it, Elvis, um, now that the Army's part of the past, can you give us in detail some of your future plans? Well, the first thing I have to do is to cut some records. Of course. And then after that, I have the television show with, uh, with Frank Sinatra. And then I have the, the picture with Mr. Wallace. And then uh, after that, I have two for 20th Century Fox. And after that, heaven knows, I don't. <laughs> I suppose it'll keep me busy the rest of this year, you know. After that, I don't know. Well, Elvis, now you're really home. How does it feel? It's pretty hard to describe, I'll tell you. It, it, it's hard to get used to, you know. I mean, I've been looking forward to it for two years, and uh, all of a sudden, here it is. It's, uh, it's not easy to adjust to it. See, something he said right there. Um, now, this is a part that's kind of always stuck out to me a little bit. Now, um, I won't go too deep into this because I want to get back to the video, but um, I think 
you know, you, you have to remember this is the first time, you know, Ellis has been home since really uh, 1958 when his mother passed. So he's, a, he's adjusting to a whole different way of life without his mom. So. Now that you are back, as you look back on your two years in the service, what was the uh, most important thing that happened to you during your two years, whether it was overseas or here in the States? Well, there were a number of things that happened. Uh, I had quite a few interesting experiences. Slip out in the snow. <laughs> HC rations, you know, all the regular thing. <laughs> but uh, I suppose the, the biggest thing of all is the fact that I, I did make it. I made it just like everybody. I mean, I tried straight. to play it straight, you know, like everybody else. And... Uh, I made a lot of friends that I never would have made otherwise, and uh, all in all, it's been a pretty good experience, you know. Elvis, uh, you still have time to serve <coughs> now for Uncle Sam. Have you given any thought as to where you're going to serve your reserve training? Well, sir, uh, I will be on the reserve status here in Memphis at the reserve center here. But. Uh, they have a, a clause which covers people with traveling jobs. Uh, if you have a traveling job or if you live too far away from your reserve center, they put you on uh, standby. Uh, whereas uh, I don't, you don't have to make their meetings, but you are uh, subject to be called in any emergency or anything of that nature. Elvis, one of your future commitments, as you mentioned, is the Frank Sinatra show on the ABC television network. Do you have any idea of when this will be aired? I really don't know the exact date. I would imagine it's somewhere around the 1st of May. If you'll forgive me, I have one other part to my question. We now, some of you remember, <clears throat> um, actually that was the first uh, thing he did after he got home. I, I, I don't think it was... I think it was actually before May. I'm not. I don't remember the exact date off a hand, offhand, but um, that took place in Florida. The uh, Frank Sinatra special that he put on for Elvis. It was a big welcome home special, and it was uh, Frank Sinatra's uh, Timex show. And um, I think Sammy Davis was there, and um, uh, Frank naturally, uh, his daughter Nancy Sinatra. They put on this whole thing and it was like a big welcome home for Elvis and he did that not too long after this press conference so that's what he's making reference to now if you look on um, YouTube you'll find videos of uh, Elvis dance, uh, dancing and singing with Frank Sinatra that's the uh, Timex welcome home special that Frank Sinatra did for Elvis Presley so that's what he's talking about I okay. understand, uh, speaking of Frank Sinatra, that there has been some rumor about uh, Nancy Sinatra and yourself. Is there a romance in the making here? <laughs> uh, no, sir, I'm afraid not. I only met her in Fort Dix. Uh -huh. And uh, she she gave me a, a gift from, from, from Frank. And uh, it was very brief. I think she's engaged to Tommy Sands. I don't think he would appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <coughs> Elvis, do you think the uh, music has changed since you've been out of the service? I mean, since you've been in the service? Possibly, yes. <coughs> I, 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 I can't say, really. I haven't been here long enough to even know. The, no. Excuse me. Right. The, the only thing I can say is that uh, uh, if it has changed, well, I would be foolish not to try to change with it, you know. That's smart. But as of now, I have no reason to... to change anything. As to your uh, acting, you have stated you would like to be a more serious actor. And uh, do you plan to uh, possibly go to some uh, school or some dramatic school? Well, it wouldn't hurt me any to go to school, but I, uh, I, I learn best by experience. Uh, I never was very good in schools of any kind. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it, it, it's going to take me a long time and a lot of experience. But that is your ultimate ambition? But uh, as of the present time, it really is. That's what I want to do. Elvis, you were asked about uh, Nancy Sinatra. 
How about uh, any romance? Did you leave any heart, shall we say, in uh, Germany? No, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not any special one. Uh, now, now that it's years later, I mean, obviously everybody knows um, when he was saying that in the special one, apparently there was something going on with him and Priscilla at the time, but he didn't uh, feel a need to put it out into the public. So he kind of downplayed the whole him and Priscilla thing after they had met in Germany. For some of you younger uh, fans that don't know, uh, Elvis and Priscilla met in Germany while he was in the army. So they're kind of asking him about her in a roundabout way. And he's kind of just downplaying it. But there actually was something serious going on between the two of them at the time while he was in Germany. There was a little girl that I was I was seeing quite often over there. That uh, Her father was in the Air Force. and Actually, they only got over there about two months before I left. I was seeing her, and she was at the train, at the airport when I left. And uh, there were some pictures made of her, <laughs> but it was no big, it was no big romance. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> the stories came out, the girl he left behind, and, <laughs> and all that. It, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. I mean, <laughs> I had to be careful when I answered questions. <laughs> <laughs> in, your, in your service service life, which did you find the most difficult when you went into basic training or when you got over into Germany over with the experienced soldiers? Which uh, which gave you the hardest time? Well, basic training wasn't hard for me at all. Uh, it was harder afterwards. After I had gotten into a, a regular outfit, uh, not the service itself, but just the surroundings, and I was in a strange land, and uh, uh, the outfit I was in, they had quite a bit of field duty. We stayed in the field six months out of the year, and it gets cold in Germany, and <laughs> it snows quite a bit, <laughs> and uh, uh, it was pretty hard to adjust to. One thing further on that, uh, do you have any advice for the boys your age who are now going to have to put in a certain amount of duty with, uh, in the service? Well, the only thing I can say is to uh, to play it straight and, and, and to do your best because you can't fight them. <laughs> <laughs> they've, never, they've never lost yet, you know? <laughs> and you can't fight them. Hmm. So uh, you can make it easier, you can make it hard on yourself. I mean, if you play it straight and get the people on your side, let them know you're trying, you, you, as the arm would say, you've got it made. And if you're going to try to be an individual or try to be different, you're going to go through two years of... <laughs> Elvis, when do you think you'll record again? And when you do, do you think you'll lean toward the ballad type music or the more upbeat sounds? Well, as far as when I'll record, I, I, I really don't know. Possibly this week or next week. And what I'll record, I, I don't know yet. Uh, I've got quite a few songs to choose from. I've collected over the two years, but I don't know exactly uh, what type or what instruments I'll use, whether it be uh, the Firestone Orchestra or <laughs> <laughs> Monty Bonnie or what. <laughs> I really don't know yet. <clears throat> Shoot. <laughs> you said that, uh, you said that uh, at the train that, the, uh, that you wanted to get back to what you were doing. And, of course, that is singing and entertaining. And I tell you from that, that that you really enjoy what you're doing or what you were doing before you went to service. Oh, yes, I do. Of course. In fact, that was the hardest part of the entire military service, is being away from it. Being away from the fans. And just, just being away from show business altogether. That, that was the hardest part of all. It wasn't the Army. It wasn't the other men. It was that. It stayed on my mind. I kept thinking about the past all the time, contemplating the future, and <laughs> that, was, that was the hardest part. Now, um, as some of you uh, may know or may not, uh, rumor had it by people that were close to Elvis that he was, he was uh, very worried and scared that um, his career was over 
when he went into the army, he thought it basically was all over. He thought uh, he was just not, uh, you know, he didn't think that when he came back, it would be the way it was. And, he, and that played on his mind a lot. And he was very, very scared about, uh, you know, that his fans wouldn't take to him anymore. And, you know, that, that basically that was that. I mean, we all, of course, we all know what happened, but he was very, very concerned about that. And people close to him uh, have mentioned that, you know. So he had that on his mind, you know. He had, like I said, he just, he had lost his mother. He was, he was grieving. It was like his whole world. When he got, when he went on that ship and went to Germany, his, he just felt like his whole world was falling apart, basically, at that point in time. You know, I mean, because like six months later, he uh, before he was on top of the world, the most famous singer, uh, you know, he had his family around him. Everything was good. And then in one fell swoop, you know, he lost his mom uh, and then he had to go to Germany. And, you know, he felt like just everything like the rug had been pulled over, uh, pulled out from underneath him altogether as far as everything went, you know. We know your family status has changed since you went into service. Are you going to keep Graceland? Do you have plans of moving away from Memphis or what? No, sir, I have no plans for leaving Memphis. And you're going to keep Graceland? I'm going to keep Graceland as long as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> well, was, was, <clears throat> was this Christmas tree a surprise? Well, since it's uh, March, uh, it's a little surprise. <laughs> uh. Now, I want to pause it right there. Um, this is something I've noticed before. I don't mean to keep, uh, but this Christmas tree that you're looking at, um, you have to keep in mind, uh, Elvis, his mom Gladys and his dad Vernon, as a family, only spent one Christmas together at Graceland, and that was in 1957, uh, right when Elvis got his draft notice to the army. So that was the tree from the only Christmas that they spent together, the three of them. Uh, that's the tree we used in 1957. We can leave the Christmas tree long enough uh, about your tonsils and the tonsillectomy that you were contemplating while you went into service. Did you deliberately ask that it be held off until you could get to the United States and the local doctor? No, sir. Or did I, they improve that much? I didn't ask that. Uh, uh, they don't like to perform surgery of any kind in, in Europe. They don't like to. If it's an, if it's an emergency, they will. Uh, but uh, I took penicillin and uh, wonder drugs or whatever they call it. <laughs> and I, I got okay. Now, well, some of you might not notice, but um, I think for most of his life, if not all his life, Elvis always had chronic throat conditions. Um, believe it or not, you know, being the greatest singer of all time, uh, he walked around with, uh, chronic throat conditions. And, um, like he just said, when he was in the army, he got, he had two attacks at tonsillitis, but they didn't do no surgery on him. So that just gives you an idea. I had, I had two attacks of tonsillitis on him. Elvis, did you like the food over there, uh, outside of the army? When you would go out, you know, did you like that type of food? I never went out. <laughs> you never uh, ate out the restaurant? I never, I never ate in a restaurant the entire time I was in Germany. It's funny. I either ate in the mess hall or at home. One of the two. I, I never, in fact, I never went anywhere while I was in Europe except to Paris. I went to Paris and uh, on a leave and that was all. Now, how did the fans respond to you over there as compared to here in the States? Well, it's a pretty difficult question to answer because anything I'll say, uh, it might sound a little uh, like I'm bragging, you know? <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, but it was pretty much the same, pretty much the same there as here. They had seen a lot of your movies. And, and, and the records and so forth. Uh, I'd like to go back on a tour over there someday, uh, all of That's Europe. Just... All of Europe. Because uh, the only thing they know about me is what they've read, uh, records, and the movies, and so forth. See, now, 
it started back then, like when he was talking about touring Europe, he kind of had, it, it, I don't know if it started exactly then, but um, for some of you that don't know, the younger fans, Elvis always wanted to tour outside the country and he never did. And that's something that came to a head with his relationship with his manager, uh, Colonel Tom Parker in uh, 1973 and they had a, a blowout and Elvis fired him for like a couple of days I mean they mended fences not too long after that but him not touring Europe built up for like uh, a good 13 years I think and then Elvis just finally had enough and he exploded on Parker and fired him at that point Elvis, this is not in the form of a question, but I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you home for everybody in Memphis and the South. Well, thank you. I, you'll never know how happy I am to be here. Someone asked me this morning, what did I miss about Memphis? And I said, everything. I, uh, I <laughs> asked that question on the train this morning, yes, and uh, we used it uh, several times. And you said, uh, anything you mentioned about Memphis that I missed, I missed that much. Well, sir, I, I was here, I've been here for quite a while, about 14 or 15 years now. I pretty well know Memphis. I thought I did, but I drove home. You know. <laughs> <laughs> if you get any more now, I'll have to start charging you. <laughs> Elvis, how'd it feel to come all the way into the station on the train for the first time? Huh? How'd it feel to come all the way to your destination on the train? Uh, you normally get over. I couldn't the believe it. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't. Oh, you, oh, I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> Escape and evasion, they call it in the Army. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I was hoping there'd be some, you know, people there at the station. And uh, I knew there'd be a lot of my friends there, my, you know, personal friends. And uh, I wanted to come into the station. I wouldn't have gotten off anywhere else, you know. I mean, I mean this time is, is different. It's if we'd only known that yesterday. <laughs> How long do you think you'll be back in Memphis recuperating or getting adjusted back to civilian life? I would say a couple of weeks. That's about all. Thank you. Okay, is that all? <clears throat> okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the first ever uh, reaction video that I did. Um, I'm a little new at this, so bear with me if there's any technical problems or like I don't seem like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to doing this because this is really out of the realm of what I normally do, but I kind of enjoyed that. It's nice to go back and listen to some of these old interviews because you really get a, a, a sense of things, you know, at that point in time. And like I said, this was uh, one of my favorite, uh, um, I don't want to say interview, it was more of a press conference that he did. Uh, because there was like certain things like this was like to me this was like a uh, a turning point like in his life and in his career it was like because if you think about it there's like his post uh, his pre-army uh, career in life and then his there's his post-army career in life and there's like it's like a, uh, there's like a difference you know because uh, up to the army like I referenced to during the video, um, naturally his mom was there all the way through to just about when he got into the army and naturally she passed um, uh, while he was in uh, basic training and, you know, so when he got back, I always thought this was interesting just looking at his face. Uh, coming home to Graceland, you know, for the first time uh, without his mom Gladys being there. And, I, you know, I don't know if it really hit him all at once, but in the interview, you know, he kind of referenced, you know, readjusting to things, you know, and I think that, like I said in the video, I think that was a major part of that because you know, now there, there was this void in his life. Now, going to Germany after his mom passed right away, uh, he was being kept busy, you know. He was uh, going on maneuvers in the, in the army, you know, and there was different things going on. So, it's not like he 
was going home to Graceland and being reminded of that. I'm sure his mother was on his mind, and I know he was sad about it because Charlie Hodge said on the way over to Germany, Elvis would cry himself to sleep every night on the way over to Germany. Charlie Hodge actually said that. And so that was, that was weighing on him big. And so he, uh, when he got home, you know, I'm sure that's like one of the first things that uh, crossed his mind, you know, what, what's life going to be like without my mama? You know, what's it going to be like from here on in, you know? So that's why this always, this uh, video and that press conference always piqued my interest because I analyze things and, you know, like, not that you could see it in his face, but you could just tell, you know, it might have been a little different for him. I'm sure he was happy to be home. Who wouldn't be? You know, he was happy the army was done. He can get back to his life of entertaining. You know, he was really happy about that. But, you know, you got to know. Uh, I think at that point, and from then on, the rest of his life, really, he was still grieving his mom. And I'm sure it hit him like a ton of bricks when he uh, pulled up to Graceland for the first time in two years. I'm sure it hit him like a ton of bricks. That Christmas tree itself, and I pointed that out, that Christmas tree itself had to be like a major reminder, you know, of the one and only Christmas that uh, Elvis, Vernon, and Gladys had together at Graceland. It was just that one Christmas and that was the tree from it. So, you know, for him to see that, he must have been thinking about that right away, you know. So, all right, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed my first ever reaction video. Um, if you would like me to do more, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do more. But like I said, bear with me because this is this is new to me and <laughs> I'm just getting used to this and the the software and how to do it and everything. But like I said, if it's something you guys like, I'll keep doing it. All right. So I hope everybody's doing great. And thanks as always for watching and for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. Uh, and if you like this and you like the video, uh, just give that like button a quick hit because it really does help. Um, and if you're not getting any notifications when I uh, post up a video, just go into your phone, go in your subscriptions, and just tap that little bell and make sure it's on next to my channel. All right. I hope you all are doing great. And as always, TCB and God bless.